If you're not gonna take the time to read the post, here's what you need to know about boosting your testosterone. I say this as someone who used supplemental testosterone for eight years and then used natural techniques to raise my testosterone levels to where they are now in my early 40s or they weren't in my early 20s. Why would you do this? Because when you have the right levels of testosterone, whether you're a man or a woman, you are going to feel amazing. It changes the quality of your life because you have a ton more energy, you feel better, you look better, sex is better, everything is better when you have enough testosterone. So here's what you can do. Number one, consider testosterone replacement therapy. If you've tried all the things on this list, or if you're over 40, there's a really good case for bioidentical testosterone replacement therapy. This has nothing to do with what the bodybuilders did in the 70s and 80s with all sorts of synthetic stuff. This is just what your body makes. You naturally make less of it when you get older. It will totally change the quality of your life. The dose is different for men and women, but the chemical is the same. There's three ways you can do testosterone replacement therapy. Number one, testosterone cream or gel. Put it in your armpits, works just fine. Number two is testosterone pellets. They inject it under your skin. It works really well for men and women. It completely changes things. And there's also sublingual non-bioidentical testosterone, which I'm less of a fan of, but it works really, really well for some people. Number two, everyone can do this and everyone should do this, and it'll affect a lot more than just your testosterone. Eat plenty of the right kinds of fat and eat some cholesterol. Allow undamaged cholesterol into your system because it's a building block for all of your hormones, including testosterone. You make testosterone by taking cholesterol, turning it into pregnenolone, which goes to androstenedione, and then testosterone. That's a pretty much short way of saying fat and cholesterol, testosterone. Number three, avoid sugar and excess carbohydrates. In one study of 74 men, a 75 gram dose of sugar, basically that's dessert or a bottle of soda, decreased serum testosterone by 25% in under an hour and the level stayed lower for two hours. So if you're constantly dosing sugar, having candy, you should expect to have lower testosterone. That's just how it works. And on top of that, 15% of the men who started with normal testosterone and had the sugar dipped into the hypogonadal range after they ate sugar. That's the range in which doctors would say your balls are failing. That's not a good deal. Number four, work out and then rest afterwards. In fact, you could just say work out and sleep. You lift weights, you don't do it every day. High intensity interval training, sprints is better, very heavy lifting is better. Getting rest afterwards and sleeping, especially the two nights after a heavy workout is really important. And even a little bit more carbohydrates, the things from the Bulletproof Roadmap, the safe sources of starch. Have that an evening before you go to sleep on those nights and you're gonna feel better and you're gonna make more testosterone. Number five, get your supplements in order. The supplements on the top 10 Bulletproof supplement list oftentimes support this. The ones that are gonna make the biggest difference, vitamin D3 vitamin K2, vitamin A, the preformed vitamin A, not just beta carotene, and zinc. You should get a test of your levels of these things, but if you don't have a test, those things really matter. Number six, change your deodorant. Why? Phthalates. In addition to being a nightmare to pronounce, because they start with P, but they sound like a TH, I never like those things, they mimic estrogen, and this stuff accumulates in your fat cells. You don't want estrogen mimetics in your fat cells. There are lots of other things, like mold toxins are oftentimes potent xenoestrogens. Reducing your exposure to fake environmental estrogen means your testosterone will work better. In your deodorant, you'll also find parabens, like methylparaben, ethylparaben, propylparaben, and butylparaben. They're all estrogenic and they're all common preservatives. Don't put them on your armpits, because that's where your testosterone replacement cream is supposed to go, right? Next up, you could try the power pose. It turns out there's a bunch of power poses that have been known in different cultures for a long time. Just a few minutes of power pose can raise your testosterone within 20 minutes. One of them is a power pose you know and love. It's the Superman pose. Pelvis a little bit forward, arms up, chest out. Just standing like this changes your physiology. There's also the one that we all know and love. Warrior, actually there's multiple warrior poses, but things like this work really, really well. So pick one you like, hold it for a little while. Even if you're standing in your cubicle looking like Superman or Superwoman, totally good. People might laugh at you, but your testosterone will laugh at them.